We need to stop wondering how we can green this planet. We're already doing it at a scale that can be done worldwide. And that's so beautiful because it's like we can change everything. There's hope. We are saving upwards of $400 an acre on input costs. That is serious cash. When a U.S. Department of Agriculture agent came out, they said, you can't grow food here. We have restored the soil organic matter to pre-colonial indigenous levels. To me, regeneration is not just about healing the soil. It's about healing history. Common Ground is the sequel to the eye-opening documentary, Kiss the Ground. The second installment unveils a dark web of money, power, and politics behind what producers call a broken food system. Common Ground, which involves some big-name celebrities, focuses on regenerative farming and how it could save our climate, save our economy, and save our health. Now, the film just premiered in Portland last night, and joining us on the couch with more about this important message behind the documentary is Josh and Rebecca Tickell. They're co-directors and producers of Common Ground. Good morning. Thanks Good for being morning. here. Travis. Thanks for having us. Yeah, nice to great to talk about it. So yeah, you hosted the premiere last mm -hmm. night. How'd it go? How was the film received? Sold out Packed. screening. Yes. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah, Portland brought Showed it. Showed up. <laughs> yeah. yes. Seattle Love had that. nothing on y'all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hear that? We, we Sounders loved FC, it. you hear that? That's no. right. We That's love great. to hear that. But I have to say, I'm, I'm not shocked. I feel like this is something that a lot of Portlanders are really interested in. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of Oregonians, uh, you know, in agriculture, which is a huge industry here, looking into regenerative farming and, and more sustainable practices. Why was this something that you wanted to dig a little deeper on well we first of all we wanted to bring it to Portland because you have an agricultural community here mm -hmm. and people are so active around these issues people want health they want well-being and they want to make the soil better so that's why we wanted to premiere it here in terms of making the film we couldn't not make a second film after Kiss the Ground. I mean, it was a runaway success mm -hmm. in spite of COVID, you know, because people were stuck at home. And what are you going to watch? They were stuck, like, once you did Tiger King, it was <laughs> right. like, oh, Woody Harrelson you with can, some carrots. You can only, you know, you can only re watch films. Friends so many times. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good point. I, I do want to ask about just this process of following up because, again, this is the sequel. Kiss the Ground was such a big success. Mm -hmm. What was it like to create a second project? Was it a, a high bar to try to hit? What was the pressure like? Yeah. You know, with Kiss the Ground, we were constrained with our storytelling. We couldn't tell the whole story. So mm. it was really just solution oriented. We didn't go too deep into the problems. It was introducing to what is regeneration? What mm -hmm. is regenerative agriculture? Mm -hmm. Common ground, we were completely unrestrained. Mm. We were able to tell any story that we wanted and dive fully into what's wrong with our food system and how can we fix it? And how is it affecting me? How is it affecting our climate? All of these things center around how we grow our food. And mm. so we realized we had to make another film that really showed people how we can not only fix our health, but we can fix our climate and we can help farmers in the process because yeah. right now farmers are really struggling. Yeah. They are, and to be honest, uh, farming and agriculture, not always the sexiest topic, right? <laughs> so, so you had you know, you know, had some celebrities kind of get on board this movement. Tell us about some of the people that you've been able to work with and, and maybe how that helped contribute to some buzz. Well, Jason Momoa, I mean, Aquaman. Aquaman. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, you've heard of him. He's, he's, he's a name. It was yeah. really awesome. Yeah, so, so what's great about all the folks that are in the film, all the celebrities that narrate, Jason Momoa, Laura Dern, Ian Somerhalder, Donna Glover, Rosario Dawson, yeah. all of these people are, and of course, Woody Harrelson came back for number two and mm -hmm. makes a surprise appearance in Washington, D.C. They're all parents, and the movie is a love letter to their children and to our children. So it's really about the future. The whole film is about how do we save the future, which I think was why it was so fun last night at you know, uh, Cinema 21, where we were, just packed house. Yeah. And, and it's showing all week. And incredible people yeah. came out from the community. We learned so much about what's happening here around regeneration. It's a great gathering spot for people in Portland who want to learn more about regeneration or who are already doing it and want to share with the community how they can help. That's super neat. I, I got to ask, if, if, if number two goes so well, is there going to be a third one? Is this going to be a trilogy? It there is. is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like Star Wars, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so this is four, five, six, and then oh. one, two, three will come out. <laughs> yeah. Our kids are going to do one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's great. It is. I mean, it's a topic that uh, you could spend so much time on. I wish we had more time this morning, but if you haven't had a chance to see either film, uh, watch Kiss the Ground and then go and see Common Ground. You said it's showing at Cinema 21. Cinema 21 here in Portland all week. Awesome. Don't miss it.
Thank you guys so much for yeah. being here. Thank Great to talk us. with you. If you want to learn more about regenerative farming, some of the future thinking uh, themes being explored in Common Ground, again, it's showing now through October 5th at Cinema 21 in Northwest Portland. You can also learn more at commongroundfilm.org.